Hi, it's Susie from Nail Career Education. Normally my nails look good all the time, but they've taken a real beating during this renovation of my new salon. <laughs> this thumb in particular has had a bad go. I'm gonna fix it and repair it because sometimes we do have to deal with really badly lifted, icky nails. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get started. Most clients that come in for regular fill, they're very smooth cuticles, no lifting, and we can just buff them and fill them. And it's pretty easy and pretty simple. But every now and then you'll get something like this. And because this happened to me during the reno, I just thought, take some time and show you how to do this. Cause I've never really seen anything like this before when it's this lifted. So number one thing when we're filling a nail is you must take up any lifted, discolored, ugly acrylic or gel, whatever you're working with. So in this case, you can sort of see, this is actually lifted severely on this one side, right over from here, all the way over to here, this is all lifted. There's a crack along here, and there appears to be a crack over here. Before you put any new product on that, all of this ickiness has got to go. That's the renovation on the nail before we apply. So in order to do that, you can hand file it, but that would be a lot of work. I'm going to drill it. Okay. Here's another tip for you. When you're taking out a bubble or anything that's lifted, the whiter it is, the more it's lifted. You want to file around the bubble because sometimes filing on the bubble is really kind of pointless because it's already lifted. If you file around the bubble and make it thin, sometimes you can just pop it right out. Maybe that'll happen here. So I just put my mask on. And I'll show you how to file this um, horrible little thumb. So I'm going to take my drill and the tip of it right in here, the angle of it, very carefully and just do short little bursts because you don't want to burn too much friction. Turning can burn. So just go short little bursts of where you see the crack. And here's a little crack over here. I'm going to file that out too. I do short little bursts so it doesn't burn. Now this whole thing might be kind of ugly over here, but this definitely here, I'm going to show you this bubble part. When it's lifted this much, you can file around the lift. You see what I'm trying to do? I'm like digging a little seam almost between where it's lifted and where it's adhered. If I get this thin enough, I can sometimes just take my finger and flake it. Ooh, look at this, this is good. I mean bad, but good. <laughs> Watch this. If I pull this a little bit, you can see how lifted it is. So look right down in there. That is so lifted right off. That bad boy's got to go. It's also ugly and discolored. So I'm going to take, now if you just rip it off, that might work in this case. It looks like it might. You can just peel it right off. I'm only being able to peel this off right now because it is not actually adhered to the nail. If it was somewhat adhered, you wouldn't want to pull it off like that because it would rip natural nail and you don't want to distress the natural nail. So this is actually not adhered, but it is joined right there. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to file where I see that it's joined. So if I just file this really thin in here, get it thin and thin and thin. I don't want to rip it in this one spot because it's going to rip my natural nail. It's actually adhered to that side. These are some of the worst to do. They're such a pain and it can hurt the client. But never, never, never rip it off. Don't take a tip and push it off. Don't take some pliers and rip it off. It really will damage the natural nail. And then it'll bite you in the butt too because if you put a new nail on it and you've ripped it, there's less natural nail for the new nail to adhere to. So I filed it thin enough, look at that. It's not ripping the nail whatsoever. It came off so, so easily. So now I'm gonna file up the natural nail and make it get rid of the paint on there for one thing. That's not a look I want. And I'm gonna file the existing acrylic 
and try to make it as smooth as possible. And I'll tell you why. If I don't file the existing acrylic, it's a different color. When I put the new stuff on over top of this, that color can come through. So it's, and you'll look like, you'll look into the nail and it's gonna be different levels of different color. So if you want it to look a little bit more smooth and blemish free, then take away all the stuff that's on there, very gently, because you're filing against natural nail. So now I'm just making this existing acrylic as thin as I can and do it very gently because it's close to the natural nail, but I'm trying to make it seamless as possible, okay? So then you can take your natural file if you want and just buff that natural nail. Now we're prepping it for the product. And you can shorten the natural nail if you want, it's totally optional. You can leave it if you want or you can shorten it, it doesn't really matter. If it's scraggly, shorten it. Okay, I'm going to see if I can file the last little bits of this off and prepare this nail for the application. So now it's down to the natural nail. So all the natural nail there I filed with the Arbor Band. I use a medium bit or a fine. I don't use the carbide. And then when it comes to filing the acrylic to get it off, I use this bit. This is the carbide bit with the medium to fine teeth, okay? So don't use this on the natural nail. So it's all prepped, ready to go. Now I'm gonna disinfect it, and then I'm gonna primer it, and we are ready for the application. That's a disinfectant that can go everywhere. I'll wait till that dries a little bit and then I can put the primer on. And I'm going to form it. Now that natural nail is intact. I didn't buff the crap out of it and I didn't peel the old nail off and pull any natural nail off. Didn't want to do that. Okay, he's ready to go for natural nail application. That's what I'm going to do here for you. Primer's ready. I'm gonna gently put that on. Okay, we've disinfected it, we've prepped it, and we put the primer on it. It's ready to go for application. So for fun purposes, as I instruct with the application process, I'm gonna apply three different colors to create a very natural, pretty look. Okay, so the first stage is this area in here will be a very light, bright, soft pink. Then we're gonna go into more of a colored pink, like, um, like a foundation would work. So it's a mixture of the two together. Then the end, so it doesn't see through, it looks more natural, will be a bit more of a cover pink, which means it's a little bit more opaque and it has more of a dense color in it. You'll see the colors as they go down. So we'll start with the cuticle. and I'm gonna soften that right into it. It's a beautiful color, it's one of my favorite colors. Just a nice, soft, on the bluer side, pink. More of a cool pink, you might say. Then we're gonna go into a blend, and this is that cool pink mix with what I'm gonna put on the end, the cover pink. This is in the middle. it nice and square. This, I'll make this a square nail. And then you can see the natural free edge showing through. I don't want to see that so much. This is where my cover paint comes in. It's a, quite a bit more opaque. You should be able to see that. And that should cover that free edge look. I also could have shortened it, but you still would see a little bit of it. So I'm going to use the cover paint to cover it completely. So it looks like I've used one color, but I've actually used three to create this particular look. And I'm going to make it quite square. OK, 
Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit of my arch in there, make sure that it's for the structure. I like to blend it during the application, just so it makes it a little bit easier for filing. But you don't have to. Okay. I'm gonna check my end to make sure it's thick enough. That looks good. So before I begin filing, I always put my powders and my liquid away, just because I wouldn't want any filings, old ones, to get into my new stuff. So I like to keep it nice and clean. Okay, now for the filing. That's how you tell it's dry. I always hand file the shape. Not effective really to do it with the drill. You can do the bulk of it, but most of it should be done with the hand file. It's gonna be quite square. Yeah. Just perfecting the ends so they're not thick and bumpy. Now I'm using the softer side of this 180 file. Then I'm gonna use the softer side. I'm even going down in grades in grit. And that makes for a very smooth, lovely nail. Okay, now we're just gonna oil it. Oil in the cuticle, get rid of the dust, massage it in, wash the hands and put some polish on. That looks a lot better <laughs> than that poor little damaged nail. So you can see even though I use three different colors, it doesn't create a patchwork look. It looks really natural, but it covers any imperfection that a person might have on their natural nail. So I'm just gonna complete the look with a nice soft pink, just to keep it quite natural. There you go, until next time.